Ladies and gentlemen, the super fight of the evening is in the weight category up to 56 kilograms. The referee in the ring is... In the ring, Mr. Anyquations. Denis Sedenko. Denis Sedenko, the referee. Mr. Anyquations. Of course, the Ugal Peglachaitsa. In the wedding, to the red corner, Natalia Dyachkova. Natalia Dyachkova.
news for holding or wrestling. I want to see a good team fight. Any questions? No? Good luck. Quick hug before the brutality begins. Let's get it on. Judges are ready. The referee, Denis Sedenko, is ready. And here we go. The first round. Here we go. First round underway. Our super fight has officially begun. Straight away, the girls go in a clinch. Monica's key is going to have to get inside. Nice, right by Monica already. Talia trying to use that straight leg kick to keep Monica away from her. Ah, oh, big left right by Natalia. She piles on the combination. Landing all those punches, Monica takes it. She's like, that didn't hurt me. This is Natalia's biggest asset. Good straight leg kick landing on the chin. Good left right by Monica, countered by Natalia quite well. Dai's biggest asset is that reach. Monica, oh, another right left, oh, another right, another right by Natalia. Monica gets in her own little right. Natalia landing some big punches early on. Monica's defense is down. She's trying to throw punches inside, and Natalia is catching her. Good mid kick. Oh, and that's a warning. No throwing, no tossing. She's getting a warning from the referee. Another good big right by Natalia. Good straight leg kick. Natalia early on controlling the tempo of this fight. Monica trying to get inside on her. She's got to keep her defense up. She can't be taking punches like that for three rounds. That's a hard, it's a hard target to hit when she's so much taller. She has to bring that big overhand right on her. Good defense there by Monica. A couple quick punches she got in. Good left of the body by Natalia. Natalia right now pretty much boxing. Good straight leg kick. She is using that leg, that straight leg kick. Good first round so far. I got Natalia keeping the tempo on her page. Oh, another big right for Natalia. She's been landing the bigger punches early on here in the first round. Another good combination by Natalia. Partially blocked by Monica. Some of them got through. Good left jab. That defense by Monica is going to get weaker. She keeps taking those punches. She needs to get inside. She needs to land something big. When you come inside, you got to protect yourself, though. And so far, she hasn't been able to do it. Ten seconds left here in the first round. Good left jab by Natalia. Nice right by Natalia. She led it with that left and came around with that right. And that is the end of the first round. Monica not phased by it at all, though. It seems like she's faced all her opponents in the past. Good first round. I believe that was Natalia's round. I give her one round nothing. Close enough that I would have scored a 10 to 9 myself. It wasn't overly dominating, but nonetheless, it was definitely her round. I don't know what Monica's going to do here in the second round to change. She has to get inside, and she just hasn't been able to clearly do that and land a big punch. Without doing it, she just, the, the size difference, the height difference is just too big. We actually recently saw this exact same situation with Ilseri Hendricks from the Netherlands, uh, who fights at a Eric, Eric and Mike's gym. And uh, she won, but she had to get inside and throw those big overhand rights and land them, and she was able to do that and control the fight. Right now, the fight's being controlled by Natalia on the outside, which has been keeping Monica at bay. We'll see what happens here. The second round. Monica landing, but really nothing significant. Natalia much more focused. Good straight leg kick. 
Beautiful, almost put Monica on her back. Daya going right to the body. Good left, right by Natalia. Natalia trying to get that knee and just missing it. Hitting the midsection of Monica. Another straight leg kick. It'll take your toll on your defense. Nice left by Natalia. Good right by Monica. She landed a good shot right there. That's what she needs to do more of. Get inside and land those punches. She's got to be an inside fighter. Or use her legs more. And you see Natalia is really mixing up her legs. She's using her legs to her advantage. She's keeping Monica away. Monica right now has pretty much gone to just boxing. Good spinning heel kick into the midsection. Good left-right combination by Natalia. Oh, big right by Natalia, followed by a straight leg kick. Monica doesn't know what hit her. Another left. Natalia mixing it up, head to the body. She's putting on a clinic right now. Keeping Monica guessing what she's going to throw next. Natalia's just allowing her to come inside. Come inside. Once you're coming, I'm going to nail you. We got a minute left here in the second round. This is all Natalia's fight. She got round one and two under her belt. She just took a good right right there. Monica's got a tough chin, man. She's taking a couple big pops. She doesn't even seem phased by it. Good left-right jab. It's a nice left-right-left -left combination by Natalia again landing. She's getting through that defense of Monica's very easily. And I'm a little bit surprised that Monica isn't really even feeling it yet. Nice right by Monica. Monica seemed poised, conditioned, and able to take those punches. Natalia really working her down. You see that? Good strategy. Comes inside, Natalia ready to clinch. And she gets another warning. It's a second warning. That is the end of the second round. Good fight so far between these two young ladies. And although Natalia is winning, I will give Monica credit. She's shorter, she has to come inside, which opens herself up. Well, defense isn't so strong. Natalia's having her way, but she's taking a lot of punches, and it doesn't even seem to be affecting her. And that in its own psychological right would be very disappointing to Natalia, who's giving everything she's got by trying to nail her. Get ready for the third round. See if Natalia can keep this tempo up and keep dominating this fight. Whether Monica has something in store that she can get inside and land something big. And you hear her trainer right now yelling at her. She's got to decide what she wants to do. That was Monica's trainer yelling at her. She's got to figure out what she wants to do, and that is get inside. Or use your legs more. It might be too late to use your legs enough to bring the defense of Natalia's down and open up her face a little bit more, but. Good right by Monica, that one landed. Another right by Monica, but she'll tell you what, she's getting countered pretty hard by Natalia. Natalia herself will stand in there and go toe to toe, she ain't afraid. Ah, big left by Natalia. Nice left, right by Natalia. As one tough girl from Slovenia, though, she is taking a beat and she is just standing in there and she keeps coming to Natalia. She is not afraid. That is another throw. I, I should give a warning at this point because these are intentional throws. Oh, Monica missing that right. And again, she's missing that right. And Natalia's defense was completely open. Oh, nice 
strike by Monica. That one caught Natalia off guard. She didn't see that one coming. Her head wasn't even looking at that direction. Monica's got a couple good ones in there, but she needs more. She needs a flurry of them. A nice combination if she wants any chance. I got Natalia clearly leading this fight. She seems to be the better trained, the better prepared. But it is a fight and anything can happen. It only takes one punch. And again, Natalia with a combination, throwing that left jab followed by a right, landing them. She's done a great job of laying her punches. She's been very precise with them. Another left, right, left combination. Not very hard, but again, she's landing them. The defense of Monica is weak. Oh, nice right by Natalia. She looks a little tired herself. We got 50 seconds left here in the third round. I don't see a fourth round. I see a, a fight completely dominated by the Russian Natalia Gachkova. And she's put on a very good fight. She's fought her fight. She's done a good job of keeping Monica at a at distance. Monica's gotten in this round a lot more than she did in round one and two. But she's not really landing. Another left-right combination and a good knee to the midsection by Natalia. Time is running out for Monica in this fight. You need to dig deep, deep both of the girls. Oh, another left right by Monica, that one landing. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. A nice left. Oh, look at that flurry of punches by Natalia in the fight. She knows she must have won it. She said, I don't care. I don't care. I'm coming after you. And she did. A good fight by these two young ladies. Tough fight, but definitely dominated by Natalia Yachkova. We'll see if the judges agree. But I'll give that Monica credit. What a chin on that lady. She is tough. But I have to tell you, winning all three rounds. Got out like Navision for the results. Дамы и господа, и в этом супер поединке сегодняшнего вечера, единогласным решением судейской бригады, победу одержала The Brewery's by Animus Decision. Наталья!